What's up, fellas? So today I'm here to teach y'all guys sleaze ball 101. All right, because guys, this is the finding principle. This is the number one principle that I teach y'all guys over here in sleaze ball land. All right, is we try to get these bitches in a vulnerable position. So what my man got right here is classic vulnerable position bitch. Now. She's not coming back from out the friend zone or nothing like that. That's when you got a bitch vulnerable too. But this man has been so much on his purpose that she's begging him for time. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to take this pillow right here and I'm going to put it over my Johnson because I get excited when I hear shit like this. All right? So I don't want y'all to see my damn dick because I get hard when I see a bitch in a vulnerable position, all right? Because guys, that's what I'm all about. I'm about power and control, all right? Now, here's the thing what you guys don't seem to fucking understand about fucking females. They want to fucking submit, all right? This is the bottom fucking line. They want to submit. Now, this dude here said he's on his fucking purpose, and so he sees her once a week if he has time, and she's begging him for more time. Guys, if you ever find yourself in this position, you simply tell the girl, well, I'm willing to give you more time, but you have to prove your loyalty to me. All right? Got to prove your loyalty to me. So, guys, from time to time, you know, you're going to have a girl. She hasn't been bad or, you know, masculine or, you know, you haven't put in the friend zone. But you sometimes, sometimes you're going to be dealing with women who want more than one day. Well, I'm willing to give you more time if you wouldn't approve your loyalty to me, all right? Now, guys, improving her loyalty simply means that she's going to suck a whole lot of dick, all right? Now, it don't just end there. Oh, no. Mm -mm -mm. You got progressions, guys, all right? You got progressions. Now, it's progressions in how you take a vulnerable bitch, all right? So let's hypothetically say she wasn't sucking your dick. But now you're going to suck a whole lot of dick. But let's say she was sucking your dick, but she wouldn't swallow. Well, now you're going to swallow. All right? It's progressions, guys. Let's hypothetically say she was sucking your dick and she was swallowing. Well, now you're going to lick some ass. Raw ass. All right? But let's say, hypothetically, she was sucking your dick, she was licking your ass. Well, now we're going to do a threesome. All right, guys? It's progressions. All right, progressions to this shit. Now, you could throw a feeder out there just to, you know, see what she's about or whatever. See if she's down to do anything loyalty for you. If you want to, let's hypothetically say all y'all been doing is having sex or whatever the case may be. All right, you can tell her she can come over and cook you dinner, butt ass naked. All right, the, the thing where I'm trying to get you guys to understand is you trying to make her all the way submit. You still ain't gonna give her your second day because the second you give us your second day, you give her that validation, she gonna start pulling back, all right? Now, if you're looking for a relationship or whatever the case may be, if you're a guy over here, and I know I got some guys over here that's, you know, wanna get in relationships and shit like that, and that's fine. I, you know, I ain't up for judging nobody. I don't wanna be, and I think like 90 some percent of the guys over here don't want to be, but if you're a guy in a relationship and you, you know, you wanna be a, a beta cook and, have a girl be disrespectful, whatever. Give two, three days. Hell, you can sleep with it uh, seven days a week for all I give a fuck. The thing what I'm trying to teach you guys is keeping a girl like this once a week is going to keep her weak and she's going to keep chasing your validation, all right? Once she start bringing up that she want more of your fucking time, you simply say, you got to prove your loyalty to me, all right? And on that, you're going to do sl slow, steady progressions, guys. Suck your dick, swallow, lick your ass, threesome, whatever you want. This is what you fucking want to hear, all right? Now, here's the thing, guys. This girl he's talking about, she has 20 guys in the friend zone, all right? This is the number one thing I need you guys to understand like that. She got 20 guys that are willing to throw themselves uh, for her, but she wants the guy that doesn't give her no attention, all right? This is how women are, all right? The guy that's 
you know, on his purpose and doing his thing. And also it goes a little bit deeper than this. If this guy on his purpose, more than likely she sees where he's headed. This is why I try to teach you guys. All right. The bitch sees where he's headed. So she sees the dude. So you can listen, guys, you can be on your purpose all you fucking want. But if a woman don't see no potential there, like you on your purpose and but you ain't having no growth or she don't see no potential for it. This probably she probably don't get this. But when a woman say, whoa, she sit back and say, wow. This guy here, he's going some, he's going places. All right. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I tell you guys, we really have the power. The problem is most men put vaginas on the pedestal. All right. Money and success trumps vagina. She's chasing him like that because she's on his purpose. He's on his purpose. And even as he if he's not there yet, she can see it. All right. And she wants to be there at the end. And so she's trying to do all she can to goddamn make sure she's on his team, guys. This is why I tell you guys, get on your purpose and all the other bullshit, it goes away, all right? So the bottom fucking line is, guys, a lot of women want to do freaky shit, all right? But they want it to be your fault, all right? They want you to have bestowed that up on them, all right? So I don't really want to suck your dick, but... You know, if this is what it's going to take to make you happy, then I, I guess I'll suck it. I don't really want to lick your ass, but, you know, if you're going to make me do it, I guess I'll do it. I don't really want to fuck another chick, but, you know, if you know if that's what you want me to do, I'll do it. She want to fucking do it anyway, all right? But she want to be, it's got to be your fault. Why you guys think women like to drink and shit like this on dates or whatever the case? So they can have plausible deniability, guys. All right? So, it, it, like I say, blame it on the alcohol like Jamie Foxx say. Blame it on the alcohol. But at the end of the day, they want to do that shit anyway. They just need a scapegoat. All right? So, with you acting masculine like that, that puts her in her feminine state because she can be so submissive to you. And so, what she theoretically want and what every woman want is she want a masculine man that can make her feel vulnerable, that can give her a scapegoat. All right? She want a man that can say, hey, suck my dick. You guys, y'all remember that video where I told you I showed up on a date with a girl and I said, you're going to suck my dick tonight? Women want to do that shit anyway, but they want it to be you. You made me. I didn't want. I, I didn't want to suck the dick, but you made me do it. All right, you guys get that? All right, women want to do these freaky things. They just need a masculine man to be the scapegoat. All right, that's the bottom fucking line. So with this freaky shit that you gonna bring to her, she wanna fucking do it anyway. But she wanted to be your idea, and I'm just going along. All right, I. That's that's the bottom fucking line, guys. And they only can do it when you're acting real masculine, all right? Because here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. If women just did it themselves, most men with a beta mindset will lose interest. So let's hypothetically say I'm laying in the bed and I just, a woman and a woman just start licking my ass without me even asking her or you know putting my willpower on her or making her submit to me and do it. I, you know, the average beta male look at her like, God damn, this bitch so goddamn freaky. All right? So a woman has to have a scapegoat because they know most motherfucking beta males can't handle that shit. All right? So that's why she needs to be in a vulnerable position. She's putting herself in a vulnerable position. Guys, let me tell y'all guys something, man. Let me tell y'all guys something. You know, y'all guys, you know, don't seem to understand females' minds. Females are a lot more crafty than what y'all, you know, give them credit for. All right, they send out choosing signals so you can approach, and then they put themselves in vulnerable positions so they can submit to you. All right, women do this shit, uh, you know, knowing they're doing this. She's putting herself in a vulnerable position for you, you know, subconsciously, whether she knows she's doing it or not. Now she's in a position to where she can submit to you. That's what she want to do anyway, guys. All right. A woman natural habitat is to be feminine, but they can only be feminine when they fucking with a real masculine man. All right, a man like my guy right here, who's on his purpose, who probably gives her very little her, his non-sexual attention, and so she's very, feeling very submissive and very vulnerable. All right, and now he can bestow his masculinity upon her and make her submit, which is gonna make her juices flow hard, guys. That's what they want anyway. But women can't never find no masculine man like this because. Men today are taught chase. 
men are, guys, men today are taught pursue and chase women is how you get women. And yeah, you'll pop up and get lucky here and there, but it's it's the long route, guys. It's it's, it's the nine to five route. It's the hard route. The, the, the easier route is to chase success and let the women chase you, all right? That's the residual route. Men are taught wrong this day, these days. I'm teaching you guys the easy route. Chase success and let the women chase you. How society has did, done it is go out and cold approach 100 women a day and you get five numbers and you take two of them on a date and maybe if you do that enough, you fuck two girls in a month. Or one girl in a month. That's that's what the that's what the theory, uh, most of the day coaches teaching guys these days. Go out to the mall, cold approach, get a hundred women, talk to a hundred women. Maybe you get seven numbers and you get three of them on a date. Got the other five gonna flake, and then maybe if you lucky and you pass all her shit tests and all the stars are fucking lined up, and it's the uh, the twelfth month on the Egyptian calendar, maybe you can fuck up. All right, this is the bullshit, guys. Chase success like my man. Women gonna throw themselves at you. That guys, guys, she ain't. She. I'm gonna tell you right now. More than likely, she wouldn't be doing this shit if he if he had nothing going on for himself. All right. If he wanted on his purpose, more than likely, she wouldn't be willing to go through all that. All right. But when you're a successful man, women would do shit like this. They'll chase you, and that's why I tell you guys, we done with that chasing shit. Pursue us. 2019 coming up. That's the fucking movement. Let these bitches pursue us. We're going to pursue our dreams. I'm sticking to that shit, guys. All you guys out there, man, that's what we're doing. This is a this is a, a prototypical story of a guy who's pursuing his passion and the bitch is pursuing him. And now she's in a vulnerable position. Everything going to work out, guys. This is Sleaze Ball 101. All right? Get a bitch in a vulnerable position by pursuing your purpose and your passions and let the bitch pursue you. All right, take advantage of that shit. Sleaze ball progressions. All right, whatever she's doing, take it a step higher. You never gonna get that bitch two days. She's always trying to prove her loyalty to you. You know, I'm willing to give you more time, but you gotta prove your loyalty to me. Just like that, guys. All right, and I had another guy who said, you know, uh, his mother uh, thinks he's a whore and shit like this. And the thing that's funny about this video, that this this question here, guys, is. His daddy was an alpha male. So this is exactly the bullshit I'm telling you about when I say women don't know what the fuck they want. All right? This is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. So I'm going to tell you right now, and I know a lot of you guys are young, the women in your family are not going to like this lifestyle. All right? They want you to be a beta male provider. All right? Don't worry about that, guys. Live your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Your mama can't live your life for you. I know a lot of you guys are going to be dating and doing stuff like this, and they're going to want you to settle down and get married and have kids and all this other bullshit. Guys, you, you got to live your own fucking life. You can't let your, your mama done lived her life, all right? Now you got to live your fucking life, all right? And more than likely, you know, women are crazy as fuck. His daddy is an alpha male, so she's a fucking attracted to it, all right? But she want him to be a fucking beta male provider. This is the bullshit that I'm talking about. And it just don't go about your mama. Just go for your aunties and your sisters and your all this other bullshit. Even if they got a beta male provider, please believe me, they getting dicked down by the alpha on the side. And I know you fucking beta males over here don't love to hear that shit. You want to swear up and down. Every woman don't cheat. Believe what the fuck you want to. I ain't got time to be trying to convince y'all that shit every fucking day. Believe what the fuck you want to. All right? This is how y'all guys been socially programmed to think that women don't step out. All right? We alpha males. We laugh at y'all ass because we know what listen guys do y'all guys know why most of the guys who are alpha males don't settle down and shit like this here it ain't because we just whores and shit like this we just know our uh, female true nature i just know that if i go out and i get a girl and make her my girlfriend i just know she gonna step out on me from time to time so if you're a guy and you wouldn't get a relationship and you're willing to understand that you'll never catch the bitch you never catch, don't even try. You ain't gonna never catch the bitch, so why, why even fucking try? All right? So the bottom fucking line, guys, is this right here. Your mama ain't gotta like your life. Your mama done lived her fucking life. Live your fucking life, all right? We live in a society now where the truth about female nature is coming out. All right? Alpha males knew this shit years ago, but all the beta males now, thanks to YouTube and social media and all this other bullshit, now a lot of guys are finding out. And women are trying to do all they can to stop the knowledge from getting out. They all on YouTube flagging shit down. They all on every social media. They can't stand it. They've been around here running this game for 
for fucking years and they fucking hate it because all you fucking beta males are now getting hip to the fucking game. All right. So with anything, everything takes time. All right. Don't nothing happen overnight, but eventually five, 10, 15 years from now, whatever, it won't be many uh, beta male providers. And now women are panicking because they realizing that fuck, where are all our male orbiters going to be? We're going to be all the guys who was giving us free validation. We're going to be all the guys who was taking us on dates, and then we just flaked on them after the second or third date. All right, so they're in a panic. All right, so that's the bottom fucking line. And your mama, she read along with it. All right, all the women are in a panic because all the beta males are now transforming to alpha males. All right, because now the beta males are getting hip to what's been fucking going on. This shit been fucking going on. These hoes been fucking alpha males. All the beta males now are just getting hip. That damn, y'all been right here fucking these motherfuckers, and these motherfuckers don't even got to take y'all out to dinner or none of that shit. All right, all the beta males are catching on to this shit. All right, so that's the bottom fucking line with that, guys. But getting back to the first thing, guys, this is what you want. This is what being on your purpose and your passion does, all right? This is what not giving bitches validation does. It makes them vulnerable, all right? Somebody had asked me how, you know, I had the girl naked and stuff like this on, 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 on uh, social media and all this and other shit, guys. I did it because I'm a man that's on my purpose and passion, and I don't get a bitch no validation, all right? Now, I validated her that night. She, you know, saying she got, she got a little big-headed or whatever the case may be, but, you know... I just think it's only right, even though I knew that was going to give her some validation, I, I think it's only right from time to time to show y'all some bitches that I'm fucking with, all right? Even though I know it's going to get them validation and boost their head up and all this other shit that I'm filming them and shit and they're going to think they so fucking hot. I already know that, but I just think it's only right if I'm a dating coach to from time to time show y'all some bitches I'm fucking with, all right? So I already knew that shit was going to happen, but that was fine. It was, it, was a, it was a nice sacrifice or whatever. Her, her interest is slowly coming back up. It, when, you, when you do, guys, when you do some shit like that, and I knew this shit before, before going in, it, it, once you validate a bitch like that, that you got to pull all the way fucking back until she just think you done lost interest. Sometimes it might take a month or two. That's how bad validating bitches is, all right? But I was willing to martyr myself to educate you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate that shit, all right? But the bottom fucking line is, guys, Sleazeball 101, we keep these bitches vulnerable, and then we do the sleazeball progressions. All right? That's the bottom fucking line, guys. All right? Like the video. Comment down below what y'all guys want to see next. Holla back.